welcome to the channel in which I will be discussing all things engineering. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, the UK's need for a sixth-generation fighter aircraft to strengthen its national defense capabilities. In a rapidly evolving world, it's crucial for countries to stay at the forefront of technology to protect their citizens and interests. The UK's ambitious project aiming to achieve this is the Global Combat Air Program, known as GCAP. So, let's delve into why a sixth-generation fighter is vital for the UK's defense equipment to upgrade the dated 4.5-generation Eurofighter Typhoon. The security landscape has transformed significantly over the years. With the rise of advanced technologies and threats around the world, such as the war in Ukraine highlighting the need for control of the air, the UK faces new challenges in safeguarding its borders. To maintain its competitive edge, investing in cutting-edge military equipment, such as the sixth-generation fighter under the GCAP, is just one example of how the UK aims to remain at the forefront of defense technology. In December 2022, the GCAP was announced by UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak as a trilateral partnership between the UK, Italy, and Japan. This saw the UK and Italian Tempest Fighter Program, also known as Future Combat Air System FCAS, merge with Japan's FX project to share expertise to build a world-beating sixth-generation combat aircraft. It is now being developed in an equal partnership with the three countries to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon in service with the Royal Air Force and the Italian Air Force, and the Mitsubishi F-2 in service with the Japan Air Force. BIA Systems has taken the lead systems integration role, along with Leonardo Italy and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to seamlessly integrate the airframe and electronics. MBDA, MBDA Italy, and Mitsubishi Electric are collaborating on the effects domain, which will enable seamless integration of the weapons for the GCAP platform. Rolls-Royce, Avio Aero, and IHI Corporation will collaborate on the Advanced Propulsion System. The program aims to incorporate several new technologies, including deep learning AI, the ability to fly unmanned, swarming drones, virtual cockpit and helmet, directed energy weapons, and hypersonic weapons. The GCAP will be more than just an aircraft. It will sit at the heart of a system including drones, civil platforms, and satellites that all work in harmony. The new aircraft is being designed to be adaptable so that it can easily be upgraded to stay ahead of changing threats. This could include the aircraft being unmanned in the future. The aircraft is set to enter service in 2035. The GCAP aims to create an aircraft with enhanced stealth capabilities, making it virtually undetectable by enemy radars. This feature provides a significant advantage during aerial combat, allowing the aircraft to reach the target without the enemy being able to react quickly enough, increasing the pilot's survivability and improving mission success rates. To achieve this degree of stealth, the latest composite materials are being used, and reducing the number of external moving parts is critical. This means the advanced propulsion system must be nestled deep inside the fuselage to avoid giving off any radar signature, providing many design challenges. The GCAP aircraft will be integrated with unmatched advanced sensors, which will allow a fast, secure, and seamless exchange of information between platforms. This enhanced connectivity enables real-time situational awareness, reducing the pilot's workload and hence facilitating better decision-making and coordination between different branches of the armed forces. The aircraft will be fitted with effectors that assess and evaluate incoming threats such as missiles, and then manage an appropriate method to destroy them. With advanced sensors and avionics, the GCAP fighter can engage multiple targets simultaneously, giving the UK's Air Force a big advantage. The GCAP fighter is designed to be highly adaptable and capable of performing multiple roles, from air superiority and ground attack to intelligence gathering and electronic warfare. This versatility ensures that the UK's military can respond effectively to a wide range of threats and scenarios making it an all-rounder aircraft. In 2035 the aircraft is planned to be piloted, but as autonomy and AI technology advances it could become unmanned. Investing in the GCAP project promotes technology advancements and innovation within the UK's aerospace industry. This development not only strengthens the nation's defense capabilities, 
but also boosts its economy by generating high-skilled jobs and fostering technological expertise that can be used on civilian applications. The program is estimated to contribute £26.2 billion to the UK economy. Furthermore, the GCAP aircraft is set to be the most capable aircraft on the market, meaning allied and friendly nations will be keen to purchase the aircraft for themselves further boosting the UK's economy. In conclusion, investing in a sixth-generation fighter aircraft like the one being developed under the GCAP project is paramount for the UK's national defense. With its advanced capabilities, stealth, and network integration, the GCAP fighter ensures the UK's ability to meet evolving threats effectively. Moreover, it drives technology advancements and bolsters international collaboration. By securing its airspace and protecting its interests, the UK, along with its allies in the GCAP project, takes a proactive step towards safeguarding its citizens and maintaining global stability. The next video will dive into more detail about how the GCAP aircraft propulsion system is different from anything on the market. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future content.